The question is, do I look like a fuckboy? And what's up everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Timothy, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Today's video, we are going to be talking about side hustles. But first, I need a knife and a sharpener. Third was hydrogen peroxide, and fourth, we need some tissue. Kitchen towels, I'm gonna spray that with some hydrogen peroxide. We are gonna sanitize the knife and the, what is this called, a scissor? Yes, it's called a scissor. Woo -woo. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna talk about side hustles. And do you really need one? And the answer to that question is absolutely yes. I believe if you are someone that wants to start something, side hustle it. A lot of people go down the road of, hey, I'm gonna learn something, and then that will become my side hustle. But majority of people have a hobby that they would love to turn into a full-time career, and they start it off as a side hustle. Now, I'm all for turning your hobbies into side hustles. Honestly, if you're really good at something and you love to do it for fun, why not try to make it your full-time job? Now, everybody has also heard thousands of people on YouTube talk about how hard it is and how much work it is to actually do it as a full-time career but side hustles aren't that hard if you're gonna bake it a cake bake a cake and then tell people you're selling it for x amount of money and then you start to make a little bit of money every weekend you know it's not a day-to-day -day thing <clears throat> Now that being said, what do you do for yourself in your free time? If you take your hobby, which is something you do for yourself in your spare time, just to enjoy life and enjoy your time. If you have decided to turn that into a side hustle, what do you do in your free time? Because your side hustle is now another job that you have to work towards and make it money. What do you do for yourself? Now I asked this question because a couple of months ago someone had asked me what I do for fun. What are my hobbies? And I said, photography is, and videography. And they were like, but isn't that your job? So what do you do for fun? Now I do have a lot of fun in my job. I'm blessed to say that. Well, I'm <laughs> one of my jobs. However, I had realized that I didn't do anything for myself in my free time. If I had free time, I was planning the next video. I was planning another shoot. I was working on emails. I was doing a lot of things that were business driven and not me driven. And uh, there's a trend on YouTube. Everybody talks about burnout. And I feel like that's a sure way for people to burn out so quick. And that conversation shocked me. I, every move I make <laughs> and every breath I take is in order for me to make a full-time living out of doing the things I love, but there's nothing that I do for myself and I share and take joy, just me. Not having to think about, oh my God, I'm taking these bomb pictures, I'm having fun, I'm gonna edit them, and people on Instagram are just gonna blow it up. That's usually what my day-to-day -day life goes like when I'm shooting or if I go out to shoot pictures for fun. However, this, it's not gardening. I, <laughs> I by the way, I'm just not turning into a gardening channel. Plants is something I love. I love learning about them. I love growing them. Right now, I'm what you call propagating them, which means I am basically cloning one plant, the mother plant. And since spring is coming up very soon, I want to be able to have multiple little plants. Now you're probably wondering, now what's the point of you showing us you cutting plants and talking about hobbies and side hustles? The reason is your, your he mental health. I had to figure out through a conversation with a stranger who was trying to get to know me that I wasn't really enjoying my free time. Yeah, like I said earlier, the process of making a video and doing a photo shoot, the end result makes me happy. But the spare time that I have in between doing those things, I would stress out, oh, this idea is not good enough, this is bleh. 
But when I'm doing this and I'm taking care of my plants, it's just me enjoying something I love to learn about, to get better at. When I when I grow a whole new plant, I'm just it's just like I'm up to close to 53 plants. I have everything from these little guys called pothos, which by the way, if any of you love plants, these are the easiest things to grow. I know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, but I killed succulents. I have figured out that a lot of people, when they get succulents, because they hear, oh, this is a super easy plant, you water it every so often and you can forget about it. That's the reason why you killed your succulent because you forget about it. They're tiny, they're small, you put them in a window, you forget about them. These on the other hand, you can abuse these. Like seriously, dehydrate them, overwater them, they grow in water, they grow in soil. They, it's just any lighting conditions, you can put them by a window, you can put them in your bathroom, like it doesn't matter, these things will grow. And the fact that they grow so large, you're gonna notice them, you're gonna, and you're gonna be able to grow them, I promise you. So go out, get a pothos if you love plants and you want to get into it. Cut a little closer to the root. Cut this a little sideways. Put this dude in here. You enjoy your life. All right, this is exciting. All right, so now I got a couple of plants. Now you're probably wondering where I'm going with this. And what I'm trying to say is that I think, or I know rather, unfortunately I know, it is probably best that you have something that you love doing, that you enjoy, something that you really, really love, and you don't have the urge to share it with the world and profit out of it. But you see, this is my point. I am obsessed with this. I don't have an Instagram page, I don't have an Etsy account I sell this on, and I don't ever plan to do that as a side hustle. If I ever grow too many plants, I'm probably gonna give them away to my friends. That's my advice to you guys and why I think it's great to have a side hustle. In this day and age, I actually think it's required that everybody has a side hustle. But at the same time, I think it's more important to have something that you do and you just do it for yourself. Just to keep you happy, not necessarily to make other people happy. If that makes sense. If you enjoyed this video, I know it's a little different from the usual ones, but if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Smash that like button and turn it into the bell notification button. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I think you should, because if you don't, all of these plants are gonna die and you can't just hate me and then hate my plants because plants are nature and nature is the earth. And if you wish these die, you're wishing death upon the earth. What kind of person are you? A climate change denier? No, I didn't think so. If you are, I would prefer that you get the fuck out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I curse a lot in these videos because of YouTube's new child policy thing. I would prefer not to. I would prefer everybody be able to enjoy these. But oh well. Fuck. Anyway, people, that actually is my time. I'm going to make sure I finish these so I can get to editing this video. But yeah, like, subscribe, bell notification, drop a comment, follow me on Instagram. It's going to be right here. And until next time. Actually, I might build a terrarium in the next video. What say? Huh? Alright, I'm gonna go now. Peace!